You know, an arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think he might be right. It's been a while since I had a confidant. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed. Now, if we could get back to the story of Hrimthur, the stonemason's son. I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. <laughs> but if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the Queen. Enough talk for now. Be ready. Know what? We'll finish this later. Are we off to find that elven sanctum then, or something else? We certainly can. Though we do have something else that needs our attention. We found a Hofgoofer out in the Barrens, my lady. In terrible pain. We freed it, but there's another in turn somewhere beneath the Forbidden Sands. A Hofgoofer? I haven't seen one since I was a child. And what else? There's still that secret elven library in Alfheim. Lead the way. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Well, if you change your mind, At your service. Gonna keep it spatter-free this time, right? Kratos? It fits. Be safe. Freya, can we return to your story of Fiendthur? You said if he built Asgard's wall in time, he was promised an audience with you. Yes. 
Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the Mason wants. Another time. We must focus. You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier, if Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again, find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. Much of the sand has been cleared away, but another storm rages beyond that pass, which must mean... Another half, Gufa. Odd. It looks as though the Light Elves sealed off this section of the Barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My, that is lucky. The Forbidden Sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela. And another storm to endure. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing Hafgufa. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alfheim. We start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave. I hope Freyr will appreciate our work here in the desert. I wonder if he knows how poorly this realm has fared in his absence. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this Hofgufa is free. This architecture... It is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive matter as well. I'd say we're on the right track, then. <clears throat> it from down here. <clears throat> this kind of hive material is sensitive to sound. How odd.
When I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of Alfheim's light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by hive matter. Aye. And as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped half giffer for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. <laughs> Denser. Too thick for that. Maybe the Twilight Stone on the ground will help. Well, there you go. Rich, left flank! Brother, the wee bastard's about to explode! Enemies to your left! Light elves. 
Poison left side! Light orb incoming! Brother, that gun has found a perch on high! don't often travel underneath the barrens, do they? Territory changes hands often in Nalvire, or so it appears. Big Veer did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. <clears throat> I suspect the corpse below would disagree. That dense hive is blocking the way. There must be a way past. Ah! 
Good eye. Let's continue, shall we? Half goofers will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate.
I wonder if these two comprehend the choice they face in this race. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hafgufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their light to their children. And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Well, given another chance, I know what choice I would make. Good. Almost there. Time to set it loose. Aye. Back to the surface, then. Oh! 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 Oh!
Used in many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine. The fate of these creatures, it reminds me of a story. Does it? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame Kratos, of... Kratos, is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well, at least it's a relatable story. <laughs> It appears we've overstayed our welcome in Alfheim. Yet again. <laughs> <laughs> Careful! 
enemy behind you! Time to end this storm. If my stories are of no comfort, take solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know there is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. <sighs> I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. I can get misty. It's beautiful. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? A statue of my brother. How quaint. That's odd. The runes are dark. What purpose does all this serve, other than a testament to my brother's vanity? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together, light and dark. Which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace, but perhaps it served as a monument. One that symbolizes the potential <laughs> for peace. This statue may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. You said monuments are useless. Why restore this one? It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. 
These crystals contain their own light. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. Ugh. Did something down there the ring of crystal shards flow looks like we can read the inscription now as well the light from the crystals it is in the sand now would you look at that Freyr's gift endures after all or should I say his Presence. You are not funny. Even when Freya was actually here, the peace was fragile. Surely a bit of extra light in the desert isn't enough to make it last. Before I met Faye, I could not imagine a life of peace. After her death, in our travels to Jotunheim, I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. Perhaps the elves will find peace again one day, even without Freya's guidance. His presence continues to guide them. 
whether they realize it or not. Freya, here. A dawn bloom. You have an interest in botanicals now? Another sleep and troll, courtesy of the dwarves. these two animals back to Vanaheim, or Midgard even. Becky and Spana could use the company. We have kennels. It would not go well for them. Once a predator becomes accustomed to a land, it is cruel to move them. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. You know, Freyer love to breed Gulan pups in Vanaheim. I wonder if these two are the descendants of the Gulan he brought here long ago. That explains how they got to the desert. Another gift for the Dark Elves.
I must say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Kratos' brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. That works. <sighs> Can we return to your story of Freemthur? You said if he built Asgard's wall in time, he was promised an audience with you. Yes, and built it he did. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. <coughs> and this mason, this giant in disguise... His name was Freemthur! He just smiled to see me, and as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for him. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Ah, blast it. I hoped it might have given us another way. So, which is your favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother? 
Why would I choose a favorite? A light elf statue in the desert. Odd. Aye. Fair bet this is the sanctum Big Veer spoke of in Van Ayn. that A phantom rogue magic aim for the runic force 
Oh, bloody hell! Look at that face! On your guard, Kratos! Nicely done! Keep on it! 
Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mimir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can say that again. on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. No. <laughs> An elven library. An archive of knowledge. No sign of the light elf. For now. Maybe they've left for the day, and we can browse at our leisure. Here. Yeah. <sighs> These texts alone are not enough to end the Elven War. But restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it. Taking a page out of Odin's book. Aye. Quite the advantage for the Light Elves. Vigvir spoke of an exile of the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. 
All this knowledge of their ancestors, their shared history, poetry, it's just sitting here, forgotten. What a waste. <laughs> Swathbar. Ah, it appears the librarian would like a word. Lata Framborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Use a shield strike! Yeah. 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 Shield strike! <laughs> 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 Oh! <laughs> 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 
Use your shield strength, brother! <laughs> <laughs> Protecting them by hiding all this knowledge away. Our ally wishes to read this journal. We are taking the book. I'm impressed. Thought you were going to end her. When last we traveled here, after Faye passed, I killed an elf of great importance. The ramifications were dire for his people. I do not wish to make the same mistake twice. 